Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Murua o mato hara, me mato hoki e muru nei i o te hunga e hara ana ki a mato. Never forget to show kindness, to share what you have with others. These are the sacrifices which God approves. Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on this day where the church remembers Thomas the Apostle. He's mentioned among the number of the apostles in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark and Luke, but it's in John's Gospel that his significance is revealed. First, he's heard encouraging the other disciples to go to Judea with Jesus. Then, not knowing what Jesus meant when he talked about where he was to go, elicited the answer that Jesus himself was the way. But probably most famously, he was the apostle notably unconvinced by reports of the resurrection of Jesus, causing Jesus to show him the marks in his hands and side. Thomas then acclaims the risen Christ with the words that have been described as the great climax to John's gospel, my Lord and my God. Jesus, you are the good shepherd. You are willing to die for the sheep. You are the good shepherd, as the Father knows you and you know the Father, in the same way you know your sheep and your sheep know you. You are willing to die for us. The Father loves you because you are willing to give your life. No one takes your life from you. You give it up of your own free will. You are the Good Shepherd. Jesus is the Good Shepherd who understands our frailty and knows each one of us by name. Our reading today is taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 20, beginning at verse 24. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, we have seen the Lord. But he said to them, unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger in the mark of the nails and my hand in his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were again in the house and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. We come now to the examen. Today is a fresh day. It is a good day because you have made it. Therefore, it is full of possibilities and hope. Jesus, you are our source. Help, Help us, us to live, live the day with you in the centre. You call us together as your body. Help, Help us, us to share, share the day well with, with others. Yours is a revolution of love. Help, Help us, us to share the good news, news with the, the last, last, the lost, and, and the, the least. least. Amen. Amen. We come now to a time of prayer. Our Lord and our God, we pray for the whole church, built firmly on the faith of the first apostles, that united in the love of Jesus, 
this temple of living stones may be built into a worthy home for his indwelling spirit. We pray that Jesus may come through the doors of our hearts and the doors of our nations that may be locked through fear or greed, bringing the miracle of his gift of peace to us this day. We bring before God our world leaders who must negotiate difficult decisions that they may seek your wisdom, Lord, and understanding. May their paths be guarded with justice and mercy. We pray for the work of evangelization, that wherever the church is sharing the gospel, all those who are strangers to Christ may become fellow members of the household of God. We remember the faithful departed, who in their earthly life didn't see Jesus and yet still believed in him. We give thanks that they rejoice now in his living presence. We hold before God all those for whom no one will pray today. Those who won't make the news headlines. Asking that they know the comfort of his presence. And for all of us who are overwhelmed by the suffering around us and within, those of us who are filled with doubt, reassure us, Lord, by your own wounds of love and give us strength to return to you until we can confess, my Lord and my God. We enfold all of our thoughts and prayers in the words that Jesus taught us, praying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Saviour, hanging on the cross, declaring God's love to us, you are forgiveness. Beside you hangs the thief. Beneath you waits Mary, the forgiven. And all around watch those many people to whom you give new life and hope. To us you give new life and hope. Forgiven sinners become your body and your church. May the reconciliation we share bring your gospel to all the world. Eternal God, by your power we are created and by your love we are redeemed. Guide and strengthen us by your Spirit, that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to you and to one another. Jesus, you knew rejection and disappointment. Help us if our work seems distasteful. Help us to, to decide what best to do, what next to do, or what to do at all. Give us courage and cheerfulness to go the second mile and all the miles ahead. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. We pray God's blessing on your day. 
uh, school holidays for the next two weeks here in New Zealand, so we won't be posting morning prayer during that time. But we pray that God strengthens you and look forward to joining you again once term three starts. <laughs>